Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Technically T here, and today we're back with yet another iPhone 7 Plus case review. Now, today what we're going to get into is the Spigen Ultra Hybrid 2 case. Now, I do know that this is a revision from the first Ultra Hybrid case. Out of all the cases I've done, I've never ordered the Ultra Hybrid, and I always said I was going to order it. Never ended up ordering it. They came out with a second version, so I made sure I got a review out to you guys for this. So, this is the Ultra Hybrid 2 version, of course, in the color black. Now, if you've seen any other previous videos from a speaking case, you know that the casing, the packaging is exactly the same, black and orange box. So, let's jump straight into it. We always have an easy, easy try it tab. Pull it out. Set this here. Okay, so this is one of your clear back type cases. So, let's take a look around the case. On the right side, we do have a raised power button. On the bottom, we have a cutout for those speaker and lightning adapter. On the left side, we have those raised volume up, volume down, and we also have a cutout for your mute toggle switch. Flip it over to the back, and you do have a cutout for your camera and your flash. Like I said, the back is completely clear. And we should have some speaking branding here on the right side as usual. The, firm, the sides feel very firm, so this seems like it's going to be a pretty good case. Because you know fit is one of my top priorities. So we'll see how it actually fits. Let's see if we can first tamper with this film. I know you, you guys know I struggle with this film on camera. And it actually drives me crazy. I wish they had like an easy tab or something on it so you can pull it off. Wow. This is really aggravating. All right, I'm going to come back to you when I actually have this plastic off. All right, we finally got it off. First of all, speaking, if you're watching this video, please make an easy pull tab to take these plastic films off. It is not easy. You got to just keep digging and digging and digging in the corner to actually take it off. Just make an easy pull tab so we can put it off from the back and put it off from the inside. It'll save a lot of hassle. So anyways, finally, here's the case. A completely clear backing. So let's go ahead and pop the phone in, see how it fits. Gonna go, <laughs> let me cut my phone off. That was a picture of me and my niece. Let me cut my phone off real quick. Because <laughs> I usually don't like doing reviews with my phone on. Just my luck, I get a phone call or something. So let's go ahead and pop it in. All right, nice fit. Let me hit these fingerprints real quick. <clears throat> All right, here we go. So here is the actual case on the phone. It actually has a very, very nice fit. So I'm not sure, like I said, what was wrong with the first speaking hybrid, but this case fits, fits pretty good. So let's take a look back around the case. On the right side, we do have a nice, nice tactile power button. Nice, easy to click. On the bottom, your cutouts are spot on for your lightning and speakers. Head over to the left side, nice tactile volume up and down button. Mute toggle switch is not far, as, not far at all in there. Easy, very easy to get to. Flip it over to the back, we do have that cutout for your camera and your flash that's spot on. Like I said, the back is completely clear. Now, first, tech, first let's look at the lay on the table protection. If you look at this, this, this case, it does offer a little bit of lay on the table protection. And, and as always, you know I'm using a tempered glass screen protector. So if you are to drop it face first, you should be pretty good in that category. Next, let's take a look at the actual fit of the case. Now, if you are a clear case lover, this is probably one of the best fit in clear cases besides the sub case. The sub case in this case actually fits just about the same. I mean, it's super, super stiff on the sides. You really have to pull it. The rigidness of the sides are very, very stiff. You always have your normal weak points, and that's always going to be here by the mute toggle button and a little bit down here by the power, I mean, excuse me, by the touch ID sensor, but it's not even weak down here so often. So this case has an excellent, excellent fit. I will give this fit of this case a 10 out of 10. I mean, it fits great. When it's in there, you get a satisfying click and it's not coming out. No shakes. Nothing. This is an excellent, excellent fitting case. Next, we're going to go with the grip. Now, the grip of the case, you have these smooth sides here. I would have liked to see maybe a textured pattern here 
when it comes to the side of the case, but the grip seems pretty fine. I mean, my hands are dry right now, and the grip, I feel like I'm not actually going to drop this phone. It actually feels pretty good in hand. I mean, if you want to get like sweaty hands or something, you may have a little issue holding on to it since this is a smooth material, but for the most part, it feels very solid in hand. Um, this case doesn't actually add a lot of bulk. I mean, it's very thin. It's pretty cool. I mean, this case, this case actually makes me contemplate running a clear case because I'm usually never a clear case type person. Just for just for all the fingerprints and things you can see on it right now. But this case actually feels very, very good. And I actually might want to start running this. Maybe as my daily. I would like to see how the scratches hold up over time on the back. I know a lot of these cases sometimes uh, 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 it'll advertise a scratch resistant backing. But a lot of times that's not really true and they still scratch. So if I do start using it, if anybody's curious, you know, during the time frame and ask me how the scratches are holding up. You know, maybe I'll actually report back to you guys and um, tell you how it's holding up over time. But this is a very, very solid case from speaking. Very, 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 very good case what they have in this Ultra Hybrid too. So I will drop the link of this product down in the description. It will run you $13.99 on Amazon and they do have a few colors. They have actually black is what you see here. They also have crystal clear, which is basically all clear. They have a teal, well, mint and clear color, and also they have a rose crystal color for all you rose gold lovers. So they have a little variation for any of you guys with different iPhones. Um, if you want to show off the color of that iPhone, I know a lot of my Jet Black buddies love to show that Jet Black off in the background, and you can actually use one of these. This is actually probably the best, second to the best. This and subcase is actually hand in hand right now. Um, subcase may offer a little bit more lay on the tear protection, but this is an excellent, excellent fitting case from speaking. They actually have a good product here on their hands. So, as always, guys, give me a big thumbs up if you like this video. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will catch you on next time. Later.